And that was Hayward Banks with Joe Song. For those of you that are just rolling out of your beds, it is a beautiful Wednesday morning wrapping around here at WPOP, Westland's only true rock and roll all time. Now here's a word from our sponsors. This Thanksgiving, live at the Thrash Pit, Clash of the Titans. Toy and Festival of Bands compete for $5,000 cash prize and a two record deal from Zampa Studios. So come on, check it out. Don't wait. Clash of the Titans. Punch my eight points. Hey, Hayward Banks, Joe Sonny. For those of you Nathan, wake up. Nathan. Hey. Wake up.
cleaned up too. Meanwhile, at Derek's execution. You said you'd be here at noon. It's past noon. It's 12 10. Calm down. Plus, right. you know I had to pick up some smokes on the way over. Well, I guess I can go make lunch. Great. Sounds good. I'm starving right now. So anyways, I was at the gas station, and I seen this girl... Oh. I'm sorry, I didn't mean to. Oh. What, what, what the fuck? What, what'd you do that for? I didn't mean to! Like, I was just telling you, you know, I seen a girl at the gas station, which was your sister. I said I was sorry, jeez. Oh, come on. Oh. Seriously? Ketchup? At least I didn't ask for mustard. At least this isn't my favorite shirt. Oh, you mean the shirt oh, that Candace got you? Is that why you like it so much? Fucking hell. No, that's just the shirt that kicks the right amount of ass to be considered one of my favorite shirts. It wouldn't matter who got it for me. Yeah, I bet. That shirt's stupid anyways. But I also add that that particular shirt isn't nearly as stupid as the one you got me from the thrift store. You like thrift store clothes. And plus it's a band you like. I don't mind the thrift store clothes at all. I love them. Some of the best t-shirts came from a thrift store. But you bought me a shirt with another man's sweat stains in it. And that shit looked like Jabba the Hutt's washcloth. Jabba the what? Never mind. No, no, I will mind. It's like every time I try to do something nice for you, it blows up in my face. Like some ketchup? No, Derek, listen. Just like lunch, just like that shirt. It just seems like I'm not appreciated. Like you don't care about me. This is stupid. Why can't you just shape up, be more responsible? You know, like me? What are you talking about? It was cute that you got me the shirt, but it had another one sweat in it at one point. You like thrift stores. Would store. you like it if I had done the same for you? And as far as making me lunch, thanks. It was nice of you to cook some good ass lunch, but I didn't ask for it. And it seemed like you only did it for the recognition of doing so. I do appreciate you, but it seems like I'm giving 110% and it's just, it's just not enough. I hope Dick's hearing's going well. Hope they patch things up. I have got to get some sleep tonight. Well, if I know Derek, he'll be over there trying to smooth things out. Yeah, he's in that tension. Well, you know what? Maybe I'd get excited if there was something to get me excited. Well, maybe if you get off the fucking couch and stop watching TV, I... Well, that's oh. Derek for you. So smooth silk. Yeah, yeah. I bet they uh, saw the little tip. Probably watching Lingo right now. Hey, don't you talk shit about Lingo. You can badmouth reality TV shows and judge Judy. But don't talk bad about Lingo. You like it. True, true. I'm just saying, they got a goofy ass relationship. Just mainly watching TV, sleep, some more sleep, some more TV. I mean, if that's the kind of relationship Derek wants, that's cool, but it's just not something I look forward to. Well, beauty is in the eye of the beholder. I mean, true, I agree, there is no beauty to behold, but what do you say? The majority of the relationship is fighting. pointless fighting and bickering all wrapped up in superficiality. The biggest problem that they have is they love each other. Ah, love. Nobody listens and everybody's right. I think we've all been blinded by love before, though. Yeah, that's why I buried my heart a long time ago. Animals don't need it. All they do is fuck, and so do I. Real romantic, Don Juan. It's better than being cornered, being drained of money, time, and emotional energy. What can I say? Love is black. It's both pleasure and pain. It's only worth something if someone is worth it.
I'm looking for more of a relationship that's... I love you. I know. Then... Wah, 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 make me a sandwich, give me pretzels. Know what I'm saying? Yeah, I know what you're saying. It's true. I think deep down, buried beneath that ice, Captain Romantica waits. What? Nothing, nothing. Just, right, it just reminded me of something that's kind of similar. So, coming home from work, like, I don't know, a couple weeks ago, and I hear this loud racket. I don't, I don't know what it is, so I got on stairs. Like, I'm thinking, you know, I'm probably going to see Nathan playing some video games and, you know, like, cranking the shit out of some motorhead. But, to my surprise, it didn't turn out to be that at all. What really happened was, uh, Derek and his girlfriend got into a fight over something right before I walked in the door because they were playing Yahtzee and throwing shit everywhere. And I don't know, it was really annoying. I, I tried to lay down and it didn't even work. Whatever happened, it was serious. Hopefully soon everything will be smoothed over so we can practice. But you know, sooner or later all of this pleasure and pleasing he gives to that girl will come back and bite him in the ass. Or leave him blue in the face. <laughs>